Oh, Steinert rocks. Oh, hello, folks. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to make a video today. Welcome back. I am the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. Wow, well, as you've seen through my somewhat timely videos, it's WrestleMania week. Or more importantly, WrestleMania weekend. I just watched the Steinert Brothers. I'll give their acceptance speech. You know what? If anyone deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. It is the Steinert Brothers. They deserve that so much. I'm not here to talk about that. There are people that actually paid piles of money. Go see that. In fact, I'm in the process of making piles of money. Let's see, I, ooh, I forgot to put that on the list. There we go. I did do that. And I did that today, too. There we go. I feel satiated, at least. No, I'm here to talk about the main event itself. Or the two days of it itself. That's still weird for me. Um, to say two days of WrestleMania. That's just odd. But we'll get to that, though, I guess. Um, so it's WrestleMania Day 1 and WrestleMania Day 2. These are my predictions as to what's going to happen. See here, and I have no idea what matches are going to be which. They could still do something really screwy, too. But let's see here. Probably the main event. Well, day. We're on day one. That's right. And I'll put in a graphic or something there. But yeah, day one. Um, taking just a wild guess. I have no, and again, I have no idea the order of the matches. I'll just say, you know what? Open up the show. We have very typical fashion. We'll have the curtain jerk match: Usos versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Eric Boogs. Whatever. Um, you know what? Usos are going to keep those belts. I don't see Shinsuke Nakamura and Eric. Boogs taking those belts. So I have the Usos in that match. Um, then we'll have to get to something a little bit more serious. Let's just say it's Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair. Let's see here. I don't know. I'm kind of torn about this one now. I still think Bianca Belair is going to take that belt off Becky Lynch. This might set up something for a hair versus belt match. I don't know. See, if Becky keeps the belt, they can do a hair versus belt match. That's it's such a minor pay-per-view. You know what? Bianca Belair wins. She retains her belt. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Then you know what? This match means absolutely nothing to me. This is like a raw mid-card match. You have Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. I would take a nap. Trust me, my advice is to take a nap through this match. Drew McIntyre is going to win. Happy Corbin's not winning. Um, then we'll get into... Yeah, right about now seems like a good place for the celebrity match for day one. We have The Miz and Logan Paul versus Ray and Dominic Mysterio. You know what? This is going to be my stone cold lock. The Mysterios are going to win. They're not going to give Miz a happy WrestleMania moment. Logan Paul, this is he's he's going to be done after this. The Stereos win, and that's my stone cold lock of the night. Then let's see here. Oh, this is my match of the night.
We have the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, taking on the rated R superstar, Edge. You know what? AJ Styles is going to win. This is going to be the best match of the night, though. Um, then we'll get into Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's going to win. She's going to take that belt off Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair, go bye-bye for a little bit. Who knows? Hey, Charlotte, I am single, though, okay? But, yeah, Ronda Rousey's going to become the new championship. Oh, yeah, and Charlotte Flair, I do need you in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League for the Easter match as one of the two blonde bimbos. Yeah. But, yeah, Ronda Rousey's going to win. And then, probably to close off WrestleMania Day 1, we have, oh, give me a hell yeah. What? 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 You the BMF. And DTA, Stone Cold, Steve Austin. Taking on from America's Hat in Canada, Kevin. Owens, or a guest of the Kevin Owens show. Doesn't matter. Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to open up a can of whoop ass on Kevin Owens. Steve Austin wins. Even though it's probably not a match. I just wanted to say that. So, you know, let's take a little break. And here we are, day dos, two, yeah, cinco, no, that's five, what am I thinking of? Two, day two of WrestleMania, because it's too sweet. Yeah, um, sir. So this match card, they're probably going to start off again with a very typical... You know, they're going to start off with a women's match. They're just going to have a horrible match. Zelina Vega versus Carmella. Or Zelina Vega and Queen. It doesn't matter. I'm going to take a nap through this match anyway. We have Queen Zelina Vega and Carmella versus Naomi and Sasha Banks versus Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. Versus Natalia and Shayna Baszler. You know what? <sighs> Only because Liv jumped up on and wrapped her legs around Rhea Ripley. I'll say Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley win. Who cares though? Then let's see here. I'll probably have... I think that they might have this match. Finn Balor... It's going to defend his U.S. Championship against Damian Priest. Finn Balor is keeping that belt, folks. They're going to keep Finn Balor around for a while. Um, then we'll have the tag team match. Tag team triple threat. RK Bro versus the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. I don't know. They might get those belts off RK Bro. They've gone their course. Street Profits will win. Jeez, what's the match of the night? Has to be a match of the night. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Then we'll have our celebrity moment. Is this? I don't know. There's no Stone Cold Lock, though. Oh, yeah, there is. Um, the first celebrity event, Sami Zayn versus Johnny Knoxville. Sami Zayn's going to win. Sami Zayn should win. If not, that's an embarrassment. Sami Zayn wins. Um, then we'll have Seth Rollins 
versus a mystery opponent? Well, I've heard one of two things. One, I've heard Cody is not coming to WrestleMania. They're going to save him for the, for the WrestleMania afterwards. Or two, it might be Kofi Kingston. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to say whoever faces Seth wins. Seth loses. Goes absolutely off the deep end. For the sake of argument, let's just say Cody Rhodes wins. And you know what? That's a neat little bonus. Yep. So as a bonus, Cody Rhodes shows up, defeats Seth Rollins. Um, next in my stone cold lock. If Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. Pat McAfee is going to slap Austin Theory in the mouth. And yeah, Pat McAfee is going to stand up for the locker room. Oh no, that was yeah, that was Waller that he kicked up. But yeah, Pat McAfee is going to defeat Austin Theory. My stolen cold lock. Um, and then probably... Yeah, that makes sense. You know what? And then in my match of the night. Mainly because it's the true main event of WrestleMania. The tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Who I acknowledge. For I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. Takes on the reigning, defending, undisputed WWE champion, Brock Lesnar. You know what? Again, this is going to be my match of the night. This should actually be pretty good. I think, I think Brock Lesnar is going to win. There hasn't been a definitive go-home segment. There is very little math to do about this. I think Brock Lesnar is going to win. And he's just going to cause chaos. Probably until SummerSlam. And then Roman Reigns will get it back together and come back. Yeah, that makes sense. Then SummerSlam. Royal... Rumble, SummerSlam, no, the Rumble's in, so this way Survivor Series The Rock might come back, and then face Roman Reigns, yep, yeah, or even SummerSlam, I don't know, we'll see, ooh, The Rock could take on Brock Lesnar, yeah, whatever it is, Brock Lesnar wins. And those are my predictions. I'm sorry this video is getting up so late. Still early Saturday morning by the time this video gets up. I have to do some creative editing. Um, so yeah. A little bit news and notes about next week. <laughs> um, well, Saturday I might catch some of it. I might take some notes Saturday. Or at least I, I might come back, do a show early Monday. Say this is what happened for WrestleMania. So, there might be two shows Monday, or sometime around then. Monday, again, this is what happened WrestleMania. WrestleMania recap stuff. Quick video. Um, Monday Night Raw. Raw after WrestleMania is always huge. Tuesday will be NXT. Wednesday, AEW show. Well, I'm doing a show every day except for... Oh, that's impressive. Uh, yeah, Wednesday will be AEW. Thursday will be Impact. I have to close the last day I'm closing. Thankfully, at that place. Because you won't believe what they did to all the part-time help. 
I guess. This will be my last rant and rave, too. They gave all the part-time help, like, 17 to 12 hours for an entire week to work. I know how much money they make. And actually, we have been pretty slow. But still, they're making money hand over foot. And they have the four managers there getting 40 hours. The one full-time person is getting 30. Everyone else is getting less than 20. Granted, I think I'm the only one there who's not a college student. But still, the way things are going with the very little um, money they're paying us, 12 hours just doesn't cut it. The more I think about it, the more it made sense for me to leave. And already I've had, I still have the one job, which actually I'm earning. I think the one job that I have the potential to earn more in one day than I would for an entire week at 12, at 12 hours a week. The other job, um, for working the 40 hours, I, I'm taking home more. Then I'm earning for two full for two full one fairly full week and twelve hours. I see what I get at the racetrack. I earn more in one day than I would the, this whole week. It's kind of sad because I know, and I'll I'll get off my soapbox very quickly because I don't want to make this video too too long. But the packaging prices are either going up or staying the same, but you're actually getting less. And eventually, it's going to hit a wall somewhere that people will be like, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. I chose not to take it anymore. I figure I'm never getting promoted. Um, going nowhere, it's, it's time for me to move on. So if you guys, I am here to provide you guys some entertainment. So I do apologize for being serious. But hopefully I make... Your guys' lives a little bit more cheerful, especially when it comes to the Daytona Beach Bonfire League and me putting bikini-clad women in steel cages with baseball bats. That's weird. Oh, yeah, then eventually, of course, it'll be the Easter show for the Daytona Beach Bonfire League. Self-promotion, baby. Baby. Boom. <laughs> All the tropes. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know who you think is going to take WrestleMania.